Good morning, Little Beats families. My name is Melanie from MV Breastfeeding and Parental Support. I am so excited to be here with you guys today on the Little Beats Instagram page. I am a nutritionist, a board certified lactation consultant, as well as a infant feeding specialist. So I am gonna be doing a Q&A today on this page really for any of the feeding questions that you might have for yourself, for your kids, your babies, or your family. So anything that has to do with feeding baby bottles, formula, breastfeeding, um, picky toddlers, meal planning for you and your family. I can't wait to see the questions come in and to answer them. So I'm really excited. I've already had a couple questions come in. So the first few questions are surrounding introducing solids, which is actually one of my favorite things to talk about. Uh, and basically what that means is that when you're starting to think about adding foods to complement your infant's diet of either breast milk or formula. Um, so typically, I recommend that families start thinking about introducing solids around four months old. What we want to look at is a baby's developmental readiness for solids in addition to their physical readiness to introduce solids. And what I mean by that is, is typically between the ages of four to six months, our baby's bellies are ready and able to digest pretty much anything that we offer to them. But with that said, we also want to make sure that our baby has the ability to sit up with some support. They don't have to be completely sitting up on their own, but we do want for... So again, we don't need for them to be completely sitting up on their own, but we do want for them to have some pretty good stability in their core so that when we're offering them food that they have the ability to kind of keep their head up and, and safely be able to swallow things. So I'm getting the question, will my baby prefer sweets if I start with fruits versus vegetables? And the short answer is no. And the reason for that is your baby is used to sweet foods because breast milk and formula have a really good amount of lactose in them, which is sugar that's found in milk. So technically your baby is already sort of used to getting sweet foods as the primary source of their diet. So I really like the idea of offering a variety of flavors to babies right from the- Okay, so I'm also getting the question about what's the best protein to start with. And um, if we're talking about meats, I kind of like the idea of starting with something like a ground chicken, ground turkey, ground beef. And the reason for that is the texture tends to be a little bit softer for babies. Um, if your baby's doing really well and, and seems to be kind of getting the idea of gumming foods, a shredded chicken would also be completely fine, but something that has a little bit of a softer texture. Um, but keep in mind that dairy products are also protein. So if you are offering like a whole milk yogurt, um, Greek yogurt has a lot of protein in it, or even things like beans, lentils, um, and some whole grains have a good amount of protein in them as well. So if you're feeling a little nervous about doing actual meats for your baby, or if you're a family that doesn't eat meat yourself, um, you certainly can start with different types of legumes, beans, um, or even peanut butter. I almost forgot about that one. The American Academy of Pediatrics is actually recommending offering. Hi guys, so my kids are snacking on some of that banana bread that we made this morning, and I wanted to share with you guys a tip that one of my good friends gave me in the early weeks of the self-isolation uh, that's been working really great for us. So basically, This is actually a really common question that I get from a lot of clients. Um, low milk supply is fairly common, or at least it's perceived to be. A lot of moms will be worried or concerned that they have a low milk supply when in fact things are actually going pretty good. So the way that we want to think about increasing milk supply is sort of like supply and demand. So the more milk you remove from the breast, the more your body is going to understand to produce. So what you could do is either feed your baby more often or 
add some pumping sessions throughout the day. What that will do is it'll actually help put in an order for more of a supply. I think in any circumstance where you do feel like you have a low milk supply or your baby's going through a growth spurt and you're feeling like you can't accommodate, it wouldn't be a bad idea to reach out to me or reach out to your lactation consultant that you've worked with previously or any other local breastfeeding specialist to just get somewhat of an individualized plan for you just to see if maybe there could be something else going on. I've worked with families that have favored many different brands of breast pumps for many different reasons. So I think it's very individual on what you're looking for and how you're gonna be using your breast pump. So for example, is it being battery powered important to you? Is it being an open or a closed system important to you? Is it having the ability to be hands-free important to you? And those are the questions that I would ask myself before making a decision. And in terms of glass bottles, most companies actually have both options, plastic and glass. Uh, right off the top of my head, I know that Dr. Brown, Advent, Life Factory, even Mason Jar makes a version of a bottle that's made out of glass. Uh, in my opinion, what we wanna do is pick a nipple to go onto those bottles that are somewhat slow flow, just so that we have the ability to protect the relationship between going back and forth between breast and bottle. We don't wanna use a nipple that has a really fast flow, otherwise our baby might become a little bit overwhelmed or um, might actually start to show somewhat of a preference to the bottle so slow flow nipples are a little bit more important okay well that's it for the day thank you guys so much for submitting questions and for spending the day with me i'm here with my little superheroes who are actually little beats dance academy graduates um, so it was really really fun to be here with you guys today if you're looking for more questions to be answered please reach out I'm gonna put my handle right here um, so that we can continue to contact please follow me yes. if you're looking for a <laughs> virtual consult um, these days I'm doing telehealth and video care and I am here for you so thanks again bye guys wait bye